morning, they told you I was on a weekend off. Here I am, working hard, you see? Well, I'm come to tell you about the second habit in this series of five habits of highly missional people. It comes from Michael Frost's book, Surprise the World. And Bevan and I are sharing a little clip with you every Sunday through the month of August. So, the first one last week was the B, to bless. And you've heard about that. But the second one is something that is a very favorite activity of mine, to eat with people. Now, the Bible is full of information about Jesus eating with people. We know the well-known stories, the Last Supper. We know the time that Jesus was seated next to the Pharisee for a meal and he confronted him. And then, of course, we know the time that Simon Peter was reinstated on that beach bry uh, next to the Sea of Galilee. Great meals when Jesus did beautiful things with people. We want to imitate that kind of thing. And we think that if we learn this practice, we can become highly missional people. To eat comes from the early church practice of a love feast or the service of table. Uh, to eat uh, was, was sacramentalized in the practice of Holy Communion, which we celebrate here. But really it's a very ordinary thing of inviting people around for a meal. Not necessarily people you know, certainly not people from the church, but ordinary people um, that are different and that may get the gospel from this, uh, this practice. So we want to give it a try. This week and in the weeks that follow, find an opportunity to invite someone around to your home for coffee, for a meal, and use the opportunity to share one's faith in ordinary ways. There's a story in the little pamphlet that you received this morning about a Baptist minister who was invited to Margarita evening uh, by his next door neighbor. And uh, he kept saying no because he was a teetotal. Uh, but um, Michael Frost suggested to him that perhaps next time he got invited, he should say yes, which he did. Everyone was so surprised they almost fell on their back. But it gave him an opportunity to share his faith, an opportunity he might not have had otherwise. So give it a try this week. Invite someone around for a meal.